Welcome back. Time now is 646, so let's get a check of your weather with meteorologist Thomas Giboy. Thomas, I am sick and tired of the snow, especially driving into work. It's a lot. It is. And we're seeing more spots just constantly seeing heavy snow because we have lake effect snow out there this morning and we also have lake enhanced snow. This is the view from I-15 near the I-215 interchange in the central portion of the Salt Lake Valley. The lanes on I-15 have been replaced with ruts on the roadways. You can see multiple cars using their flashers out there this morning because if you were to try to change the lanes when the rut that you are, it is going to get slushy rather quickly. The plows are doing a great job, but when you're seeing snow as heavy as we're seeing, it's hard for them to keep up. I mean, it's snowing sideways in Midvale right now. This is 72nd South at 7th West, and those roads, again, they are running slippery to slushy, and there are some spots in the Salt Lake Valley where it is going to be difficult just to get out of your parking spot or out of your driveway out there this morning because we also have some snow drifts and this is all being driven by strong winds and lake effect snow. We're seeing the heaviest of the snow stretching from Magna to West Valley City down through Taylorsville near the I-15, I-215 interchange, Mill Creek, Cottonwood Heights, even starting to see more of that snow in downtown Salt Lake. Earlier this morning, that lake effect ban was in the western portion of the Salt Lake Valley, so South Jordan and West Jordan got slammed with snow and that lake effect ban continues to move just a little bit further off to the east, but we're still looking at steady snow in the Tooele Valley. Still have some steady snow in Davis, Weber County, Box Elder County, Cache County. We're also seeing snow in the eastern portion of Utah County. We saw good, a, a good amount of lake effect snow in the southeastern portion of the Utah Valley downstream of Utah Lake, but the Wasatch back still seeing times of snow. The Wasatch Mountain still seeing snow. So if you're waking up in northern Utah, be prepared for a snowy morning drive. Meanwhile, in eastern and southern Utah, we're not seeing quite as much snow compared to what we saw last night, but we definitely ha still have some slippery streets in the eastern and southern portion of the state, but the winter storm warnings that we have for the central and northern half of Utah will continue through six o'clock this evening when it comes to additional accumulations of what we could see. Maybe another one to five inches for most of our valleys within the warnings. Four to eight inches, though, will be possible for the Salt Lake, Utah, Tuil, and Rush Valleys, as we're going to have that best chance for lake effect and lake enhancement. Up to 12 inches for some of the benches. The Wasatch back could see an additional four to eight with isolated up to 12 and six to 12 inches for the central and northern mountains, maybe isolated up to 18 inches for the Cottonwood Canyon resorts and for the Davis County area mountains. So we're not done with the snow just yet. Here's the current view in Cedar City, where during the overnight we saw even more snow things have calmed down a little bit still mostly cloudy skies above slippery streets down below so if you're traveling anywhere from iron county all the way up through the utah idaho state line you probably want to build an extra time for that morning drive while in st george this might be one of the very few spots that sees a pretty sunrise but it's even chilly down in st george as we're starting off at 36 degrees but part of the reason why we're seeing such a problem in northern utah is because we're starting off with temperatures below the freezing mark so anything that's falling out there this morning is freezing Things will get a little bit better by this afternoon as our temperatures will warm up, but we're going to be significantly below average once again with daytime highs roughly 20 degrees below average, 37 degrees in Salt Lake. We might not climb above freezing in Logan, 31 in Cedar City, 50 degrees in St. George. And as we go through the day, the best chance for wet weather will generally be in the northern two thirds of the state and we will hold on to a good chance for snow showers even along the Wasatch front as we go through today. Then as we go from tonight into tomorrow morning, more lake enhancement and lake effect going to be in the card. So that potential will be will at least be there and we'll see here as we go through the future cast by two o'clock this afternoon, additional energy moving in behind the system. So scattered snow showers will continue from this morning into the afternoon, especially in northern Utah, but we could see snow showers stretching as far south as Beaver and Iron counties. That chance will continue into this evening, mainly for northern Utah, but you'll see at 3 o'clock this morning, this particular future cast showing there will be that chance for some lake effect snow, and then we'll hold on to a chance for isolated snow showers through most of Wednesday before Wednesday night and a Thursday. High pressure starts to build in, and we'll finally see some calmer conditions to round out the work week and warmer conditions into the Easter weekend. As for St. George, though, we'll have that chance as we go through today, mainly just a slight chance for rain showers in St. George, then drier and warmer into Easter Sunday. We could be 80 degrees on Easter Sunday down in St. George. Then along the Wasad front, snow showers continue through today, holding on through a chance for, through our Wednesday. And then for our Thursday and Friday, temperatures warm from the mid to upper 40s, and it's mid 50s on Saturday and near 60 degrees on Easter Sunday. So spring is around the corner, but we have that snow out there this morning, so be careful on that morning drive.